So like, I'm not a handy guy. That's just not my thing. My wife had to learn that the hard way. She kept, what's your name? Shekinah. Shekinah. The glory is in the house. Yes. <laughs> yes. Shekinah. <laughs> you got a prophetic name. Yeah. <laughs> so Shekinah, my wife kept buying stuff for me to fix. She kept buying stuff for me to put together. Like she bought a table for the kids and she bought a chair. One day, I think I just got on her nerves too much. She bought home a bookcase. Set the bookcase in the living room and she said, babe, like, I want you to put this bookcase together because like, I want to use it for the kids' books. <laughs> I was like, okay. In my head, I'm not putting this together. <laughs> you know me. We've been married for seven years now. Stop bringing stuff home for me to put together because I'm not going to put it together. So it sat there for three months. In fact, it sat there so long that I moved it to the closet because it got in my way. Like, I just wanted to move it out the way. And so she comes downstairs one day, and she kind of, my wife is very extra and very dramatic. She went to Emerson, the School of the Visual and Performing Arts. <laughs> so she thinks she's an actress. Avery, can you hand me a water? Or just toss it up this way? So she thinks that she's an actress. So she comes downstairs looking, and she says, babe, where's the bookshelf? You just toss it to me. I said, it's, um, it's in the closet. You didn't put it together yet? I asked you like three months ago to do it. <laughs> she, I hate it when she does like, oh. <laughs> There's a universal language. Like, if I did not, if I was not married to a black woman, I wouldn't know what this was. <laughs> if I wasn't married to a black woman, I wouldn't know what this, I was driving. <laughs> no lie, listen. I was, I was driving down Broadway, and I looked, I looked next to me at the light. I was at a red light, and this girl was, like, just beaten away. I was like, what's wrong with her? <laughs> she giggled. No lie, my wife looks at me like this. Now I got to do something. Okay, okay. Let me, hey, 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 hey. I love you. Like, so now, because I'm not good at, like, now I got to compete. Now, okay, now what? I did, like a, like, a guy move. I hit on the back, like, hey, you all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know. Now I got to compete. You know what I'm saying? He did something, and I feel like he knew we were competing because he kept, like, side-eyeing me from the, from the back. So, no lie, he's walking with this girl. He's like, girl, I just want to dance with you. He spin her around. I was like, what? What is happening? What is this? Dancing with the stars? No, okay. I'm like, okay, okay, I got you, I got you. I was like, hey, hey girl, hey girl, do that dance we do. She was like, what? I was like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. He, and this is what killed it, this is what killed it, this is what killed it. He goes to his wife, he stops. He looks at her in the eyes, he says, listen, I've never been with somebody as beautiful as you. You are the queen to my castle, you are the steerer of my ship, you are the anchor of my soul. I love you. That girl lost her mind. She started crying. You about to start crying, ain't you? She was like, <laughs> she was like where is he? <laughs> Send him. I need him. He spent some mad game. <laughs> he spent mad game. Girl, like a tear came, and she was like, oh, you know. <laughs> He looked, and this is the way he looked at me like. <laughs> I said, bet, bet, my dude, bet. So I stopped my wife. I said, hey, listen, let me tell you something. She said, Dad, stop touching me. <laughs> I said, no, wait, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. You, huh, you are the captain of my ship. <laughs> you, you watching? You blow my mind. <laughs> you are something else. And you know what? Hey, hey, I love you. Everybody looked at me like I was stupid. <laughs> I was trying to compete. I don't like doing double dates because you have to compete, you know? But I, I am one of the things I'm, I'm, I'm happy about is that I don't have to be a single person now. Like, it's, it's hard to date now. 
The reason I say that is because times have changed. Times have really changed. You know, no matter how old you are, no matter what your age is, no matter, no matter what your demographic is, trying to date now is different. Because you got things like social media, got things like Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi? Ten years ago, you would have asked me about Wi-Fi. I wouldn't have known what that was. Facebook and Twitter. Everything has got to be Facebook official. Like, you got to take selfies now to show you with somebody and change the status. It's just, it's too much. It's too much to try to prove to somebody that you got a relationship going on. Like, when I was dating, we didn't have all that. Took the girl out. You know, I went to the door as a respectful young man, met the daddy, and that was, that was it. I dated for maybe five to seven years before I got married, before I found my Ruth. For the church people, all right, you know that. <laughs> they get that reference, Ruth and Boaz. Um, I remember one particular story. One lady I was dating, a young lady. She, she had, a, she had a, a lady's name. Her name was Patricia. And um, we were in school. I was, I was a sophomore at Purdue, came met. So was she. She was super cool, you know. She um, had nice hair. She was doing this a lot, so, you know. <laughs> I was used to it. I said, hey, yo, um, after class one day, I said, I would like to take you out. She said, sure. Come pick me up at my house. I said, okay, cool. She lived at the Lake of Four Seasons. I didn't know what the Lake of Four Seasons was at that point. So as I'm pulling into the subdivision, have you all ever been to the Lake of Four Seasons? Yeah. Some of y'all probably live at the Lake of Four Seasons, all right? I pulled up and I said to myself, she got money, all right? <laughs> Good job, Dez. I pulled up. <laughs> so my wife, this girl, she could be my wife, yep. I pulled up in the driveway. Nice big house. She, had, she didn't have a driveway. She had a circle. Like, you pull in, and it just circles around the house, you know? Two nice cars in the garage. I was all right. <laughs> I'm, feeling, I'm feeling pretty good about myself. So I walk up to the door. Bang, bang. Nobody comes. Okay? Bang, bang, bang. Finally, a person who looked like a convict who just got fresh out of prison opened the door. It was her father. He was a large gentleman. Not large like you the rock and you've been training large. It's like you drink six packs all day large. You know what I'm saying? Like you look that large. Had a do-rag tied on his head. And I didn't even know people still wore do-rags as fashion statements. But he had on a do-rag. He opened the door. He said, you dead? I said, yes, sir, I am. Here to pick up your daughter. I said, come on in, man. I said, cool. Now, mind you, before we went out, Patricia said, I want you to kind of meet my family. I thought that was kind of weird because it's the first date. Like, we're not about to get married. Why am I meeting your family? Why do you want to introduce me to all your family? And so I walk in. No lie. N I cannot make this up. When I walk in, I walk up the stairs, and her father does this. This is my family. They were lined up. The mama, the little sister, the big brother, the little brother, and the older sister, and somebody who I think was like their cousin. And he was kind of strange, because he was just standing there eating popcorn. That's all he did. So I walked in, and Patricia came around the corner. She said, oh, great, you got a chance to meet my family. I said, yeah, cool. So the dad says, where are you guys going tonight? Taking her to the movies. Very simple date. He said, great. We'll see you there. Skirt! Skirt! <laughs> you know, sometimes I have internal conversations with myself. This was one of those moments. I said to myself, Des, did he just say we'll meet you there? That's not, he, he didn't mean that he's coming, right? I think he meant he was coming. Ask him. I'm not going to ask this man if he comes to the movies. <laughs> so what you going to do? I won't just act like you didn't say it. Bet, do that. Cool, cool. So um, I said, you ready to go? She said, yeah. I said, all right, you guys have a good night. <laughs> so we get in the car, pull up to the movies, and we go to the one out there in Hobart, right? <laughs> pull up, I let her out first, because guess what? I'm a gentleman. And ladies like gentlemen, all right? You get that on the way home, gentlemen. <laughs> put the word together. So I parked the car. I walk to the, um, I walk inside the movie theater, 
I see Patricia waiting for me at the line for the ticket. Cool. I said, yo, I see how hell come. Get my little money out. I glance to my right. I see Patricia's father, his mother, her little sister, her big brother, her little brother, her other brother, and the weird dude eating the popcorn. What's up? So I walked to Patricia. I said, hey, did you know they were going to be here? She said, yeah, they just wanted to come to the movies with us. But why? <laughs> I just guess they wanted to see the movie on the same night that we went. <laughs> like, they, they couldn't, whatever. OK, cool, cool. Already in my head, I said to myself, this will probably be the last time we go out. So I buy one thing of popcorn. Because again, I'm a cheap guy. Miss Peterson, hey, you know me. I rock to Miss Peterson. She's super dope. She knows me, but she don't know this. I'm the cheapest person you will ever meet in your life. Like, when I take my kids to the movies, I get one cup of pop and three straws. You all gonna suck from this same cup tonight. You wanna, Daddy? But I'm hungry. Oh, we got food at home. You wanna? Wait till we get home? What you, what you want? I can make you the best dinner when we get home. What you want? <laughs> Hamburgers? You want some? I can make you some popcorn. <laughs> so uh, I get one thing of popcorn, one cup of pop, and I got two straws for me and Patricia because we're going to share. <laughs> she tried to look at me like I was funny, like, oh, you going to get another cup, right? No. <laughs> you suck first. <laughs> and then when you get down, put my straw in, I'm going to suck. I'm going to put my straw to the side. And you can hold the cup, but when I tap you on your shoulder, just pass me the cup. Bet. So we walk into the theater, and I was kind of excited to see the movie. So I thought to myself, like, surely, 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 her family will not be in that movie theater. That's just too weird, right? Shekinah, last name Glory. That's too weird, right? That would be too weird, all right? Right, that'd be too strange. That'd be too strange. Yeah, that'd be too strange. They were in that movie theater. I walked in. I didn't see him at, at first. It was dark. All I saw in front of me was Patricia. So now I'm a young man. I'm in my 20s. You know? I'm trying to do the whole, you know what I'm saying? Put the arm around her. And she went with it. She snuggled in, got my jacket on. Like, OK. So she's sitting here. I look over at her. And somewhere in the fifth row, <laughs> I'm learning. I just turned 30. And um, you're supposed to clap there. I don't know why you didn't clap. <laughs> celebrate that I just turned to something I don't control, but just celebrate the fact that I turned 30. <laughs> and you know, one of my greatest confidants is my grandmother. My grandmother is. She is like the epitome of a strong black woman. My grandfather passed away in 97, and my grandmother took the burden of the family. So I oftentimes just talk to my grandma. And I remember her telling me stories about my granddaddy. And I remember her telling me like how she, they used to babysit me, and I was just sitting in their room um, and just watch them. And I was like, I remember that. I remember my granddaddy struggling to get out the bed because he, he had just gotten kind of old, and he just couldn't move. And he would make sounds when he got out the bed, like, ugh, ugh, ugh. Like, what are you, why are you grunting? Because, like, everything hurts. And I, one day when I got out the bed, I said, ugh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> everything just started, like, after you turn a certain age, everything hurts. I'm just learning with age, your, your body just kind of, it flips. It gets different. Because when I was 16, 17, 18, I could eat a steak burger at 10 o'clock at night. Wake up the next day, be perky as a pixie fairy, and ready to go and conquer the day. Let me try to eat something past 10 o'clock now. Oh my God. When I'm gonna wake up out of my sleep at least three times, I'm, I, oh yeah, she said, oh, you ain't experienced it. <laughs> you still young, baby. She, let me do that now. I'm gonna gain at least 10 pounds the next day because your body changes. 
I've had like a pouch for the past year that I just can't get rid of. And it just, it like, it won't go anywhere. Like everything else gets small, but this pouch. You can't see it because I got like two shirts on. Oh, when I'm at home, I just be staring at that pouch. And it be staring back at me. I'm like, yo, when are you going to leave? It's like, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> like, you know? So I've changed my diet. Like, I've started to eat differently. You think it's funny. You laughing at my pouch? I got a kangaroo pouch right here. It's a whole. I've, I've changed my eating habits because I came up on soul food. I came up on greens with ham in them. I came up. I would walk into the kitchen and Lola, my grandmother would be making pig ears and pig feet. Pig snout. Why was I eating the nose of a pig? Like, I, she, yeah, hoghead cheese, you know? She still be making it. And I realized to myself, yeah, this is unhealthy. <laughs> so, because once you turn 30, your, your fears change. Like, when I was younger, I was scared of the boogeyman. When I was younger, I was, I was afraid of, like, the dark. Now, past 30, I'm scared of diabetes. Like, I'm just... I'm scared of high blood pressure. Like, I'm scared of those things. So I had, to, I had to curve my dad a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, Thanksgiving is different for me because I'm, I'm a pescatarian. Yeah. You, you know what that is. So a few people over here was like, what is it? Her face is priceless. Her face looks like, her face looked like I just picked up a baby and slapped it. She was like, what's wrong with you? Oh, so pescatarian, real quick, means that I don't eat any meat. I only eat fish, but not too much fish because I don't want to get mercury. <laughs> I eat grains, fruits, and vegetables, and no dairy. Yeah, that, mm. that whenever I tell people, it's like a death just happened in the family. You're like, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, <laughs> you know? But they had bacon, <laughs> everything I wanted, but I couldn't eat it. I like you. What's your name? Geraldine. I like Geraldine is my new friend. Nothing against you. I mean, you know, she, I just go from. So I couldn't, I couldn't eat everything. All I was able to do, I could have eaten the eggs, but I didn't want to eat the eggs. So I ate a lot of coffee. I drank a lot of coffee. And so at the table, I told the people, they was like, Des, why are you not eating? And in my head, I said, oh, shoot, now I got to tell them. <sighs> well, are you on some kind of diet there? <laughs> I was around some white people, and the white people funny. They tell you. Oh, I'm gonna diet, huh? <laughs> hey, hey, there's on new diet. And you look like you got muscles. Like, no lie, a guy came to me and did this. Hey, 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 I see those muscles. <laughs> what kind of diet are you on? So I said, I said, I'm a pescatarian. <laughs> he said, they, the whole, it was seven people at the table. They said, you're a what? <laughs> I said, don't make me laugh. Please don't make me laugh. I said, I'm a pescatarian. A pescapillion? <laughs> Somebody said, what that is? I said, well, I can't eat meat. I heard somebody across the room yell, hey, you can't eat meat? <laughs> I just, it's not really a big deal. It's just, well, what can you eat? <laughs> and God bless their hearts. They tried to help me. I said, well, I can eat fish. You want some, hey, y'all got some fish in the back? No, it's, you ain't got to, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> well, it's breakfast. That's the best meal of the day. I said, well, listen, I'm, I'm going to be okay. You want me to go get you something to eat? Let me go see if they got some fish. Bob, no, Bob, sit down, sit down. <laughs> Bob, I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay. You, you sure? I'm, I'm sure, Bob. Well, what else can you eat? Well, I can eat nuts and grains. So you can eat peanuts? Yeah, I can eat peanuts. You want the skin on them? Bob. I don't want anything that's come out of your pocket. I don't want any, you know, trying to be more fit. Like I'm going to the gym actively, regularly. How many of y'all go to the gym? I, lo I love it. I love, yeah, I love your honesty. I love your honesty. Because, you know, the first of the year, it's like 800 people in the gym. The first of the next month, it's like five of us. <laughs> I'm trying to get it in, you know what I'm saying? As best as I can. But these are the times that all, like, 
everybody is trying to get into a relationship in the beginning of the year, and then what I call tax time relationships. <laughs> oh yeah. March is around the corner. Before you blink, somebody is going to be in your inbox. <laughs> Somebody's going to be knocking at your door, Ms. Peterson. Because guess what? <laughs> it's tax time. <laughs> oh, everybody want to be. And this is when I was on the prowl. <laughs> like 21, 22, when February ended. Like, no, no. What I would do is I would eye somebody. She didn't have to be the prettiest. Dead serious. She didn't have to be. She could do this all day. <laughs> I would target her and say to myself, Des, because again, I have these internal conversations with myself. He'd be like, yeah, what's up? Sure, you think she got a job? You think she's going to get some W-2s back? Hey, let's find out. Bet. Walk up to her. Hey, um, what, we got the same class together. What's your name? Jessica. Oh, that's right. I think I saw you. Don't you work at what you gonna call it? I do. I've been working there for two years. Dez, she got W-2s coming back. <laughs> Get her a Valentine's Day gift and hang around March 3rd, March 15th. Hey, Jessica, the craziest thing, my job ain't sent me my W-2s yet. Did you get yours? <laughs> yeah, mine came last week. Oh, so you fouled already, huh? <laughs> Yeah, they said they'd be here in a couple of days. There's good job. Hey, I know. 